Welcome back to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Today we are in 2 Samuel 7. What verse or verses rose up for you? For me, verses 20 and 21. And being a, a, country, a, country, a Christian music fan, um, I, I recently went to the Toby Mac concert a few months ago, and Crowder was a guest there, and Crowder has a song, God Really Loves Us. I titled today's message, Does God Really Love Us? Here's my G, God's Word, verses 20 and 21. What more can I say to you? You know what your servant is really like, Sovereign Lord, because of your promise and according to your will. You have done all these great things and have made them known to your servant. Here's my R, my reveal. God really loves us in spite of us, in spite of our stubborn spirit. He lavishes his blessings upon us. It all comes from him because of his promise to Abraham, because of his promise through Christ. And we should never forget this. Here's my I, my implementation. When we truly realize the magnitude of all this, we are set free to live as he has called us to. Understand this, we are heirs to his kingdom. He promises us that we will live with him forever. So take a good look at your blessings and thank him for each and every one of them. Here's my P, my prayer. Lord, you're so good to us all and pray that we like David will recognize your sovereign will and grace and live thankful lives for all the remaining days you give us. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, it's all about an attitude of gratitude, and David got it. Uh, David had his faults. David had many faults, but he got it. He understood the part about worship, and I think we, we lose that today. I think sometimes we go to church, and we just sit back on the pew, and we take it all in, and we agree with what's being said and what's being sung and what's being shared, but we're not actively worshiping and participating, and we need to think about all the blessings, all the things that he's given us. Um, that's going to help us to to worship him and to understand who he is and to better um, get a grasp of everything that is at hand and what's coming our way. Uh, if you allow yourself to think about that, man, it, it just it fills my day and I'm, I'm, I'm blown away just at the mere thought that he loves me in spite of me. Amen. Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, we do love you. We do thank you. Lord, we stand in awe of uh, the things that you've done in our lives. We're grateful for each and every one. Lord, for the blessings of life, for uh, the things that you lavish upon us so freely. I thank you for your grace and mercy. Lord, for the presence of your Holy Spirit in each one of our lives. Uh, Lord, I just can't, can't imagine doing life uh, without the Spirit leading and guiding me. And I'm so thankful for that. Help us as we think about uh, the eternity that we're going to get to spend with you, Father, and all the things that Scripture says about that. Lord, I pray that you would help us to understand better and more fully so that we might be able to tell others about this. Lord, we thank you and love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, be blessed, and I'll see you back tomorrow.